Hello and welcome to another Vanquish Studio tutorial and today we're going to learn how to use a blending stick. Okay, now usually when people use a blending stick they think that they're supposed to hold it like a pencil. Not true. You actually hold it like this and you use it, this part, the flat part, for smudging. Now I'm gonna use a, I'm gonna make a, a, a picture of Kobe Bryant. May he rest in peace. And um, I use Conte Crayon. Conte Crayon is a very hard type of pastel. It's, it doesn't, it doesn't smudge too easily. But that's okay because I've got a blending stick. Now before we get started, I do want to remind you to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you get notified every time Vanquish Studio uploads a new video. All right. Let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, I am using the blending stick right here, and you notice how I'm using it on its side, and then you go back. And, now, here's the thing about using a blending stick. You go ahead and blend, right, and then you, you blend it in there, and then you go back over it with the Conte crayon, and you build up the layers. So as you can see, I just went in there and built up the layer, now I'm building it up, because everybody knows, you know, Kobe had a beard and a mustache so you know you gotta you gotta draw in the facial hair and that's pretty much exactly what I'm doing and you notice right here now I'm back using the blending stick and you do have to push with because it was a Conte crayon you have to push with a little bit of pressure so you have to use a little bit more pressure but you notice how I'm using it on its side with the flat part you don't use it like a pencil you don't you know put the put the tip down because if you do that then you're gonna smash it. You're gonna like totally smash the tip, and it's gonna, it's just, it's not gonna work. And then you're gonna have to get another blending stick. Now, luckily, they're cheap, so you don't have to worry about that, but you know, you don't wanna do that. Now, the neat thing about using a blending stick too is I just did the beard, now I'm going up and doing the eyes, right? And I just wanna use a little bit of color. So I'm just using what's on the blending stick. You notice I did not put any Conte crayon on the eyes and it's still getting a little bit darker. That's because there's still pigment 
left on the con uh, Conte crayon, left on the uh, blending stick from when I was doing the beard. Okay, now I'm going back in with a white Conte crayon, which has nothing to do with the blending stick, so I'll just shut up and let you guys check this out. I think the image I was working from, he was wearing a white t-shirt. So I thought, you know what, let me use the white Conte crayon and just, and I'm just, I'm just doing the outline right here. I'm not like, you know what, we're going to keep that simplified. And I did go back in and you saw I have white areas with, uh, with, with the white Conte crayon. Now I'm going very lightly with the Conte crayon right here, but I'm not using the blending stick at all. Okay, now here we go back with the blending stick. There we go. So you see how it smudges. So all of those areas that are in between the where I put the Conte crayon, it's 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 smudging. Now I'm going back in here and getting a little bit more pigment on on the on the on the blending stick. I'm working on the I'm working on those lips. I think I left I think I left the neck. I, I like the I like the texture that the content grant had, but you see how I'm just lightly putting in the shadows right there because there's pigment already on the on the on the blending stick. So you can just you can pretty much you know use lighter lighter tones. So you can use lighter shadows and you get you get the mid tones. That's what you're looking for when you're blending. You can just use the pigment that's already on there and use that for blending, which helps you know. It makes it look pretty realistic. Okay, so I hope that video helped you a lot. Don't forget to like it and share it. Help me out because I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers. So I'd really appreciate the help. Thanks a lot and I will see you next Friday.